हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट एक्सेप्टेंस और रिजेक्शन क्राइटेरिया ऑफ वेल्ड इफेक्ट्स बाय रेडियोग्राफी टेस्ट एंड दिस इज एज पर ए एस बी थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन पावर पाइपिंग कोड सो इन ए एस एम ए बी थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन चैप्टर सिक्स इज डेडिकेटेड टू इंस्पेक्शन एग्जामिनेशन एंड टेस्टिंग एंड दिस चैप्टर ओनली ऑल द एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया हैज बी गिवेन Uh, acceptance criteria for visual examination acceptance criteria for magnetic particle examination dpt radiography test ultrasonic examination and even in process examination has also been given in this chapter so radiography test acceptance criteria has been given in para 136.4.5 friends i have already explained the visual examination and now i am going to explain the radiography test acceptance criteria for well defects before starting this video let me give you a brief introduction of myself my name is sandeep anand i am mechanical engineer and i am having 14 plus years of working experience my website is weldingandndt.com and my youtube channel is youtube.com/weldingandndt so i used to share my knowledge through my website and my youtube channel friends you if you if you would like to you know uh, financially support my initiative then you can join my channel joining is very easy after subscribing my channel you will see a join icon or join by button by pressing this join button and by paying a very small amount you can become a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially so before radiography interpretation you need to know the area of interest means up to what area you have to see in the radiography film so the weld joint you have to see and no, along with that weld joint you have to see at least 6 mm from the toe to weld means this is the toe of the welding this is the toe of the welding so 6 mm from the toe from this side and 6 mm from the toe to this side so minimum you have to examine this area minimum You have to examine these areas. So now, the following indications are accept unacceptable. So which indications are unacceptable? Any type of crack, lack of fusion, and incomplete penetration. So these defect, these three defects are sorry, these three defects are not at all acceptable. Let me erase this. so that there will be no confusion so crack incomplete fusion and lack of penetration are straight away discarded these are not at all acceptable now we'll move to the undercut so undercut so before uh, explaining undercut uh, let me give you a brief introduction of eu and iu eu and iu is mentioned in the code and eu eu is the undercut adjacent to cover pass and iu is the undercut adjacent to root pass so eu will occur this at this portion that is the cover pass and iu will occur internal will occur at the root pass means in this area this is the root region so iu is the internal uh, internal undercut that is undercut in the root side and eu is the external undercut that is undercut in the cover pass side so now you have understood what is eu and iu so i will move forward for circumferential groove welds most of the pipe weld joints are circumferential only so for some circumferential groove welds e undercut is acceptable up to a sub some limit like if the aggregate length means total length of the undercut is total length of undercut of eu and iu everything will be added external undercut internal undercut all undercut length exceeds 50 mm then that will be unacceptable if the sum of external undercut and internal undercut in any combination will exceed 50 mm length then that will be unacceptable and that too within a welding length of 300 mm if the welding length is 300 mm so within 300 mm if there is 50 mm of 50 mm of undercut either internal undercut external undercut anything if the aggregate length or total length of all the undercuts will exceed 50 mm then that will be unacceptable now 
if the weld length is less than 300 mm then one sixth of the weld length will be unacceptable suppose if the weld length is 120 mm let me light right here 120 mm so one sixth of 120 mm will be approximately 20 mm 20 mm so if the weld length is 20 mm then one sixth of the weld length shall be unacceptable means more than 20 mm will be unacceptable so if the aggregate length of eu and iu in any combination exceeds one sixth of the weld length then that will be unacceptable so this undercut uh, criteria is for circumferential groove welds only for longitudinal butt weld for longitudinal butt weld any type of undercut is unacceptable means in longitudinal butt weld there should be no undercut at all now we'll move to the root concavity so root concavity can be judged by the density or the brightness on the film if the image of root concavity is darker than the density at the adjacent base metal suppose here you have a root concavity then this area will be dark so if this darkness is more than the adjacent area of the darkness then that will be unacceptable in digital radiography brightness comparison may be used now we have understood crack fusion penetration undercut and root concavity other than these defects any other elongated indication if there is any other indication elongated indication other than the above mentioned defect so that will also be that can also be judged by these criteria so if it is having a length greater than 6 mm then that will be unacceptable when when the thickness of the weld is less than 19 mm so if the thickness is less than 19 mm then 6 mm elongated indication any type of elongated any indication more than 6 mm will be unacceptable if the thickness is between 19 mm to 57 mm above 19 mm up to 57 mm in that case 1 by 3 t length of the defect shall be unacceptable so we'll understand with 10 examples suppose thickness is 21 mm 21 so here 1 by 3 criteria is given so 21 divided by 3 will be 7 will be 7 so any defect any other defect more than 7 mm will be unacceptable if the thickness is between 19 mm to 57 mm and for above 57 mm if the thickness is above 57 mm then any defect more than 19 mm will be unacceptable now suppose if dissimilar thickness is there means uh, uh, 6 mm parent metal and 10 mm parent metal you are doing welding so 6 and 10 two type of thicknesses are there then in that case minimum thickness will be considered now any group of indication if there are some indications some small indications spread on the welding then in that case the aggregate length the total length of the indications shall not be more than the thickness thickness of the metal in a length of 12 t so we'll understand this with the help of an example here in a length of 12 t we have three defects a b c then according to this criteria the sum of the aggregate aggregate length of a b c shall not be greater than the thickness means a plus b plus c shall not be more than the thickness of the material so we'll take an example suppose thickness is 10 mm thickness is 10 mm then and a is 3 mm a is 3 mm b is 5 mm and c is 4 mm so a plus b plus c will be 3 plus 5 plus 4 that is 12 mm so aggregate length of the indications will be 12 mm 
now 12 mm is more than 10 mm that is thickness of the material is 10 mm so the aggregate length of the defect is 12 mm hence it is more than 10 mm then this is not acceptable now condition is that the length should be 1280 12 into 10 that is within 120 mm length of this uh, weld this indication should be present and the second condition is that space between or uh, space or distance between the successive indications like distance between a and b and distance between b and c shall not be uh, shall shall not be more than 6 l l is the length of the longest indication that is here in this case the longest indication is 5 then the distance between these indications shall not be 5 into 6 30 mm means distance between a and b should be within 13 mm and distance between b to c should be within 30 mm then only this uh, criteria will be fulfilled so friends now we will understand porosity see porosity is uh, very deep and very you know large and uh, for porosity in asme b31.1 they have given that any defect excess as excess of that excess of that shown as acceptable in asme section 1 non mandatory appendix a250 so you have to refer a semi section 1 a semi section 1 is for rules for construction of power boilers and non mandatory appendix a 250 para is for acceptance standard for radiographically radiographically determined rounded indication in welds so this is a very big topic or very broad uh, you know very broad topic but i have uh, just make the, made a summary of relevant indications only so if you want to know the relevant indications which can be evaluated further so that is if the thickness is less than 3 mm the relevant indication shall be t by 10 and if it is between 3 to 6 mm then the relevant indication will be 0.4 mm and if it is between 6 mm to 50 mm relevant indication is 0.8 mm and above 40 mm more than 50 mm the relevant indication is 1.6 mm so friends i don't want to make this video very long so i will not explain further Please note that the porosity acceptance criteria is very broad. Now if you want to me to cover all the acceptance criteria which is for porosity, please write in the comment box so that I will make one separate video because that, that video will become very long, almost 30 minutes time it will take if I will go to explain each and every porosity terms and conditions. So friends, with this now I am going to uh, end this uh, video. Hope. Uh, you'll uh, like this video. Thank you very much.